It's a great pleasure to contribute to the conference that you are carrying out these days. It's a very important conference. Unfortunately, I could not attend uh, the event, but I wanted to share with you just few ideas, food for thought, to understand better how the topics that you will discuss these days can be part of a broader context, the context of a fundamental question for our life. How can we assess the progress of our societies? How can we assess whether our life is improving or worsening? When I was chief statistician at the OECD, I launched a global movement about the idea of going beyond GDP and uh, about the measurement of well-being. And the final concept we used, we elaborated also within the so-called Stiglitz Stan C Commission, is the concept of equitable and sustainable well-being. And you can immediately understand that this is a multidimensional concept which is based on different pillars. There are hundreds of initiatives around the world on this topic. But there are also a lot of commonalities about how to measure, how to frame the concept of equitable and sustainable well-being, and in particular the concept of well-being. If you look at these different initiatives, you find that the most common dimensions of well-being are the following. First of all, health, and then uh, work. Of course, uh, monetary returns and, uh, I would say, uh, economic well-being, but also environment, interpersonal relationships, the way in which the society works, the governance, and so on and so forth. So it's clear that from this point of view, the role of sports, all sports, is fundamental. Not only to improve our health, but also to stimulate positive uh, messages towards competition, fair competition, but also the opportunity to share great experiences, not only as spectators of uh, a sport event, but also as uh, players of teams together. We live uh, in a world where, unfortunately, over the last few years, a lot of uh, negative events happened, especially after the economic crisis of 2007-8 and there are still a lot of countries where unemployment is very high, uh, poverty increased, income decreased and uh, we are at risk of uh, social cohesion, of uh, uh, mutual trust. We are in a situation where we feel more, more vulnerable than before. But at the same time, we can observe incredible efforts and successes all over the world of people who were lagging behind and then they changed their life, their countries, their regions. This mobility, this capacity of overcoming difficulties, of uh, working hard for long-term outcomes, for our societies, our economies, our families is something that of course is very well known by those who practice sports, not only at competitive level. What I want to say here is that talking about uh, uh, the great event that will be the Universiade, the winter Universiade in future and this conference is of course focused on that, should underline that the values, the efforts that the world 
of sport can teach all of us are more necessary than ever. We know very well that these international events are also great opportunities to know our other people and to overcome barriers, cultural barriers, to discover commonalities, to show that we human beings can share values, different uh, ways of developing our lives, but also a lot of commonalities. This is why, as Minister of Labour and Social Policies in Italy, I'm also very much engaged in trying to give uh, new opportunities for developing a fair economy, a fair society, and to integrate in this project all people. Being uh, able to develop an equitable and sustainable economy, of course, requires policies, but also requires the efforts by all individuals to make their best to improve their societies and not only their individual lives. This is why I welcome very much the fact that uh, this event will be held in a region like uh, the Trentino, which has demonstrated the highest quality of life in our country. Recently, a very important uh, financial newspapers in Italy, Sole 24 Ore, published the uh, ranking of all provinces of Italy. And uh, the Trentino is number one. So, my invitation to all participants is not only to focus on the topics of the conference, but try to absorb from the fantastic community where you will spend a few days also the secrets of this success. We know very well that uh, quality of life doesn't come simply by the fantastic uh, landscape or uh, environmental conditions, but also by the efforts made by communities, by individuals, which in particular developed a fantastic model for Trentino. So I hope that you're staying in Italy and in particular in Trento and Rovereto will be a great opportunity to discuss issues, to share views, but also to absorb the fundamental quality of our country, which is exactly the highest quality of life that a lot of people can enjoy. We hope that uh, the uh, outcome of this conference will help also Italy to invest better in uh, sport activities, in tourism, in all the social events that can improve also our quality of life our economy and in this way have uh, less unemployment, more social inclusion. This is why I welcome you again and uh, I wish you the great success of this conference and great time in Italy.